cut. So this is my 1950 Piper Pacer that I have for sale. This is a PA20, not a converted PA22, it's an original Pacer. We'll do kind of a pretty detailed walk around for everyone. It's powered by Lycoming O290 D2. I think it originally came with a 125 horsepower engine and now it's got the 135. Got a bracket air filter on it. It has the upgraded Grove disc brakes. I do have the wheel pans for it. I just don't fly with them on because I fly out of grass a lot and I don't want to get them all filled up with grass and mud but they're painted just like the airplane and they're original. They're original to the airplane. Pop this open, side open here. This side's got the oil cooler on it in the back of the cowl here. And when it's below about 50 degrees, I have a plate that I put on the back of it. Otherwise the oil temp won't, won't get up into normal operating range. gallon wing tanks. It has the sealed struts on it. This is the fuel gauge for it. It works actually quite well. Pedo tube is right here. Landing light, taxi light, nav lights. Here's the rear door. The baggage is behind the rear seat. It does not have a access door on the outside of the airplane. It has a mall tail wheel that's just been replaced last annual. We'll go through the panel now in the cockpit. Uh, I guess we'll start at the bottom. Flaps right here in the middle. There's two notches. 
battery's actually under the passenger seat here front passenger seat front right seat I guess it um, it only it's got tow brakes but it's only got them on the pilot side here's the fuel valve it's just left tank right tank and off this is a dome light it has instrument lights, one on each side here. We'll go through the panel now. Okay, got vertical speed, turn coordinator, altimeter, airspeed, clock, artificial horizon, ammeter, and Garmin radio, a Garmin GTX 327 transponder. It's ADS out compliant. And over here on the right side, we got the tack, um, oil temp on the bottom, oil pressure on top, exhaust gas temperature, cylinder head temperature, and vertical card compass. We'll work our way back to the left on the bottom of the panel. This is the intercom the rotating beacon switch, front heater, rear heater. It has a fuel light which lights up down in this area so you can see the fuel selector at night. We've got the mixture, primer, throttle, mags, carb heat. The dim dimmer is disconnected, it's an op. ELT, taxi light, landing light, parking brake, instrument lights, and position lights. And the rest are fuses down here. Here's all the paperwork. It's got all the logs back to the original test flight back in 1950. Which is one thing I'm really happy with when I purchased this airplane. So I've had it for about a year and a half. It's been great to me. It's got I think zero issues. Everything on it works. It's something that I have for sale. Um, I'm not in any position where I need to sell it and I need the money. It's just I could be taking this money and putting it towards my Highlander build. So if anybody's interested, just let me know in the comments. And if you're serious, we could talk on the phone or email or you can come and see it.